Hey guys, it's Audra and welcome back to 365 Projects. I am here today with my TBR for contemporary thon Now, the last video I posted was a TBR for the entire month and Blackathon, and there's still no wrap up for January because life has been insane. Um, hopefully, I will get that in the next couple weeks, but it's whatever. We've been doing bigger and better things here in Kansas City. Um, like I said in my last video, we got to go to the Super Bowl with the Chiefs, and wow, it was an unreal experience. We won, so Kansas City has been crazy since we got back. Um, we even had school off on Wednesday, so we could all go down to the parade, and it's been unreal, and it's been so great to be a part. Um, Chiefs Kingdom is what we call it, so um, it was, it's been a great time, but back to the books and on with contemporary thon which is all about reading books set in a contemporary time um, realistic characters this is hosted by some of my favorites we have Chelsea we have Julie and we have Natasha and um, I think it's twice a year they do this and so there are seven challenges I pick seven books I don't know that I will be able to get to all of them but I'm sure I'm going to try and we're going to just hop into it with the first challenge of being to pick a green book. Now, I'm so excited about this book, so I had to read it for this readathon. And there's not a whole lot of green going on here, but you can barely see it in his hand. But it is literally the green book. And so this is about a young boy who goes on a road trip with his grandmother. And it's set in contemporary times, but she teaches them about how the green book worked um, for... Um, black individuals in the 60s I believe and kind of how that changes it is a middle grade and I did start it today I've started it early but um, like I said I could not contain myself and I just had to read it but that is my green book the second challenge is to read a new to you author and for that one I have gone with allegedly by Tiffany D Jackson this could also definitely be hard-hitting. I had it there originally. I've moved some things around because I had to incorporate some other books from the TBR jar. That was in my last video. Um, but this one, I've not read anything from Tiffany D. Jackson, and I'm hoping that I love it and can just go into her other ones because they also have great reviews. But the synopsis of this is insane. It is about a young girl who has allegedly killed a baby she was nine years old when the baby was left in her care, and I think her mother's care, perhaps. Yeah. And somehow she was convicted. She was sent to baby jail, and it's kind of her life afterwards. I'm hoping it's like a redemption, like turning it so that she's not, at nine years old, held responsible for the possibility of this child. I don't know. I have no idea, so I guess I should not make any assumptions. But I need to get to that one as well. We have a diverse read which all of these so far have been diverse compared to my own experience, I guess. Um, but for that, I'm going with Blended by Sharon Ann Draper. I love Sharon. She is an amazing human being, and I have had the pleasure to meet with her and talk to her in person about our respective cancer journeys. Um, but this, I believe, is her newest one. It came out a year or two ago. And this is a book that, like, all of my kiddos needed. Um, it's about a young girl who has a white mother and a black father. Both of them have been remarried to a person of their own race, and so she feels as though she doesn't fit in when she's seen out in public with them anymore. And it's also about like a blended family dynamic, so you have alternating chapters of when, she, when she's at dad's house, when she's at mom's house, and like the switch in between. And then um, there is a turn of events as well that happens in this story, but I'm, I'm hoping it's a great voice for my kids at school that need representation for mixed race as well as a blended home. And I cannot wait to get to this. I started this on audiobook too. So maybe I'm getting a head start. Not maybe, I am. We're gonna go with it. My backlist title, so challenge number four, is going to be one for my TBR jar that I pulled, Love in Other Words by Christina Lauren. Um, this is the, I think, possibly only um, adult book. And it's romance. So this, I think, is like a couple who dated when they were younger. They split up. They go on to live their lives. And I think they probably get back together. I don't know. The guy's into books. That's why I bought it. And I have enjoyed kind of one other Christine Lauren book. So I'm hoping to enjoy that one too, especially since it's the only adult novel on this list. 
for the week. Um, I'm going super fast, but we need to keep going. So number five is dark and hard hitting. And like I said, allegedly could definitely work for that. Possibly even another book on that list if the turn of events is what I think it will be. Um, but I'm going to go with actually Runaway. So this is another one that was on my TBR jar pick. And this was a story about a foster child who has ran away and her story to fit in. And for me, that is hard hitting. I will probably cry. It's in letter format or diary format, something like that. So I'm hoping that it goes very quickly. And then number six is illustrated cover. My initial thought was to finally get to The Parker Inheritance by Var Varian Johnson. And this is about a little girl who finds these letters, I think, in her home um, with this kind of like puzzle to kind of solve this injustice that happened years prior for her grandmother. And so I think it kind of goes back in time, back and forth. I got started on this this morning before Blended as an audiobook, and it starts in 2007. So that's like 13 years ago, and I'm not quite sure that would count for contemporary thon. So let me know what you think about that down below. Is 2007 too long ago? I was like 18, just getting out of high school. So I'm not sure. I want to read this because it sounds really good. She goes on like this quest to find the answers to this riddle or this puzzle type thing with letters, and it just sounds awesome. So maybe I'll get to that eventually. And then... Um, if not, there's a lot of other covers, as you have seen, that are illustrated that would double up, unfortunately, but I'm probably just going to have to do it because it's a work week. And then the last one is Beloved, and for that, I'm going to go with one of Julie's favorites, and that is Stargirl by Jerry Spinelli. Again, I pulled this from the TBR jar, and it couldn't have been more perfect to pick for this month. I don't know anything about this, to be honest. It is super short, and the movie is getting ready to come out with Grace. Um, Vander, Vanderwall? from America's Got Talent, I believe, and I loved her playing her little ukulele. And so, um, yeah, just another book to read. So I realized I went super quick. I never go that quick. So you're welcome, those of you who always stick with me. Um, but these are the seven books I plan on reading. And if I don't get to all of them, I will try to prioritize which ones count for more than one. Like this one is Beloved. It's illustrated. It has green on the cover. It takes care of three right there, and we'll see what we get to the rest. So let me know what you're reading down below. If you're reading any of these, I would love to talk to you as always. And until next time, I'll talk to you later. Bye, guys.